Hello and welcome to Curious Life. So today I'm doing a plan with me for September 2003 for a binder bullet journal. Um, we absolutely love this style. I have gone with an art deco theme using ice blues and sort of this lovely yellow colour that's a bit gold like and uh, absolutely gorgeous and I made this in Canva and I'm going to show you how I made it. So I start with a like a template that I have made in Canva so you guys don't want to see me sorting out all the numbers and the letters and things and then I just like went into Canva into the elements section under the graphics and had a look at their art deco options and I absolutely loved this cityscape but ugh, maybe next time. I'm gonna really look at sort of the backgrounds and have a look and I absolutely loved this like blue fan the look to it. I didn't really like any of the actual backgrounds itself um, but yeah let's go with this gorgeous blue fan thing and then I wanted to sort of frame all the little boxes that I've got but uh, the frame you can't adjust the height and the width of it which is a real shame that they're not like scalable otherwise that oh that would have been so perfect so instead I went with some corners um, so we've got the pro version, but you know, there are so many options on here if you haven't paid for it. But I must admit, Canva, if you're using it a lot for this sort of thing, worth it. Uh, so I'm using some corner bits and just pulling it all together. And then I wanted to sort of put some things down the side. So I tried a few different things out. What's really great with Canva is on some of the elements, you can actually change the color, which was really nice. Um, and as you also see, I've changed the color of all the words. So the main text I have in yellow and all the, the sort of text on the page, I've used the same color that's in the background. So it all works together really nicely. Um, so it turns out that this art deco, I picked that because I think that that might be a up and coming trend perhaps, but you know, we'll see. This is the first time I've tried predicting a trend, so we'll see how off base I am. However, the colours are something that apparently are in fashion at the moment, so I thought I'd give that a go. Once I'd done my initial pages, and these are where I put my base thoughts, um, so this is where at the end of the day I write down sort of what I've done that day and my mood and it just gives me like um, somewhere where at the end of the month I can look back at all the things I've actually done um, and then on the other half that this actually gets cut in half and one page goes at the front and one page goes at the back of my month and then I've got this review page so at the end of the month I then go through and kind of give a summary of my month and that's just really nice to again flick through afterwards. The main monthly, so this actually acts as a future log because I actually do these three months in advance. Um, it also acts as my weekly because as you can see I have all the days, I uh, have a quite a big box so I can actually fill in almost everything I need in these, it's very rare that I overspill. And that also helps me make sure that I'm not planning too much um, on each day and that actually really helps me not overload my days. So my monthly, uh, yeah, I, I make it do a lot. My monthlies, they are my future logs and my weeklies and of course my monthly. So I can like visually see what's happening when and I can manage that time. Um, but I know other people like to bullet journal in different ways. So I moved a whole bunch of things around. I tried a few different ways out. I'm, I'm Decided that it was a bit too cluttered, so I actually moved a lot of the things out so it framed the whole page instead of just the month. Um, and then I just really like how uh, it came about. So I went from my templates into these beautiful spreads really quite quickly and easily. Um, and I'm really, really happy with the results of these. So hopefully you guys will love them as well and this will give you a little bit of inspiration in your own and uh, I'd love to see maybe that Art Deco theme. What I did then, I printed it all out on my, my new printer which I am loving, I must admit. And then when that was done, um, I cut them up, stuck them to some card 
just to give it that little bit more um, sort of because these are like my main pages they kind of act as um, what are the words barriers between things that's not the right word um, but they, they act as those and so I like to put cardstock on them I also have these gorgeous little stickers that I use um, and like I know that they're green and so I had to th make sure that I had themed this in the to go with that green colour as well because I've already bought those. Um, and I am just so, so happy with this. Um, so yeah, I'd absolutely love to see uh, this inspire some other people and see what you've done and kind of whether it's the colour scheme of the, the ice blue butter yellow um, or if it's the Art Deco theme, I would absolutely love to see what you guys come up with. I hope you've really enjoyed that. Do, you know, do the whole like and subscribe thing. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.